Our next project is going to be drawing a slice of pie. For this project, you'll need paper and just a pencil and an eraser. You might want to use a ruler, but you don't have to. So you really just need a pencil and an eraser and paper. Later on, you will color in your slice of pie, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, this is not only going to teach you how to draw something realistic, but it's also going to be fun, and you're also going to learn how to draw more 3D, meaning three-dimensional, meaning more realistic, like real-life drawing. So to start, you want to make a diagonal line kind of like this. So if you want to, you can use something like a pencil or a colored pencil to help you. So I'm going to make a diagonal line about there. So I'm going to move this and I'm going to go like that. I like to draw light at first and then I darken my lines as I go once I know that my lines look good or that they're correct. Next, we want to make a triangle shape, so we kind of want a shape like this. Your pie is not going to look like my slice of pie, and that's okay. I want yours to look different. I want all the pies I see to have character and be different. So you can have yours more like that. You can have yours more pointing down like that. I'm going to make mine, I guess, like more like that. So you can use, again, pencils or colored pencils to help you. But I'm going to go freehand and I'll go here and then I'll make a line at the bottom. So I'm basically drawing a triangle but it's a very 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 slanted triangle and you want to make sure that these two lines come together right here and form a point. Now this is where I might erase and clean up my lines a little bit and fix them and make them look better. At any time, feel free to pause this video and work on yours and then come back to this video and continue along with me. Okay, the next step, you need to create two straight lines. These lines must be the same. So if this is my first straight line, right here, and if you want to, you could use a ruler, you don't have to. That means that if this line is straight, this one has to be straight too. It can't look like this, it can't look like this, it has to be straight here and straight here. So I'm going to mirror it or make a line just like it here. And here, do you see that? Let me hold my paper straight. These are parallel or straight. Now this part's a little tricky. This line right here, the line you drew here, has to match this line right here. It can't look like that, that's slanted. It can't be like that, that's incorrect. So this and this have to be the same. So I'm going to go over this one, this line right here, and then just underneath it, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going light because I need to check it. I'm looking at it. It looks pretty good, so now I'm going to darken it. I might fix it a little bit as I darken it. Maybe erase a little here. Maybe erase a little there. Now this is where if you want to, you could use a ruler. But pie is more like lumpy and organic shaped and it's okay if it's not perfect. A slice of pie will never be cut perfect. But for this part, you might just want to double check your lines like I just did. Maybe this one comes down a little bit more. Okay. And there you have it. It looks very 3D. It almost looks like a slice of cheese also, but we're not done. I want us to create pumpkin pie because we're in the season of fall and we see and eat a lot of pie in the fall. 
especially around Thanksgiving time. So we want to draw some crust on here. So I'm going to make some bumpy crust. And the crust also comes around the side. And there's also a thin layer of crust at the bottom holding the pie together. And the crust can be a little bumpy. It doesn't have to be perfect because crust is more crumbly and often falls apart. So I'm going to darken what I just did so you can see. Like that. Now you might want to add some whipped cream to your pie. So I'm going to make a, ha a half circle or almost like a smile. As if, if I was drawing like a smiley face. And then you can draw your whipped cream however you want it. I'm going to erase here. It could be a big blob of whipped cream, a little blob of whipped cream. There we go. And this can be lumpy and it can look a little silly. Or you can leave out the whipped cream. You don't have to have whipped cream on your pie. And I'll worry about fixing my whipped cream later. I might add some curved lines to show how it swirls around. Okay. Now we want to make a plate. It's up to you how you want to do your plate. Your plate should be round or oval shaped. Here is one that I drew where it looks like we're looking down at my slice of pie. My plate is more of a circle shape. If that's easier for you, that's what you will do. Here's another one where this looks more like we're eye level with the slice of pie and the plate is more oval shaped. My pie is also lower on the page and we see more of the wall behind it. In this picture my pie is a little bit higher up and we see more of the table. And again it looks more like we're looking down with the round plate. This plate is more of an oval shape and we see less of the plate and we see more of the pie on top. So this is going to take some practice and again, you might want to practice before you draw your final pie that you're going to color in. So I'm going to make an oval shape going very lightly. And I know it's hard for you to see. I will darken it in a moment. I just want to make sure that I like the way my oval shape looks before I press harder and darken it. Okay, once you like the shape of your plate, darken it. Again, it could be round or probably more oval would be more realistic. The plate's a little tricky. Do your best. It's probably the hardest part to draw, believe it or not. I bet you thought the slice of pie would be the hardest. The whipped cream could be a little tough too, but I think the plate is probably the most challenging. Okay, so now we want to draw a table and a wall. So this is where if you want, you can use a ruler and you decide, do you want to show more of the table or do you want to show less of the table and more of a wall in the background? So I'm going to make my line here. Maybe a little bit higher. I'll raise mine to about there. See, even I erase all the time, and I look, and I change things, and I fix things, and that's okay. That's how you become really good at art, is by correcting and fixing mistakes or things that you're not happy with. Okay, so now it looks realistic, like my pie, my plate 
is, sit, is on a table and there's a slice of pie on top of it with a slice of whipped cream on top of my pumpkin pie and then there's a wall in the background. Okay, next it's going to be time for color. If you want to see examples of the project, you can click the black star on my Google slide. When you color, you can really use anything. I'll probably use some colored pencil. I may even use some pencil for shadows. I'm definitely going to use some oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, that's okay. Just use colored pencils. You could even use crayons if that's all you have. Next, you're going to watch me color in mine using different materials. And I'm also going to color realistically, meaning I'm going to make my pie the real color of pumpkin pie, meaning it's going to be like a rusty, yellowy orange with a little brown. My whipped cream, I'm going to make it white with some gray shadow. I'm going to make my plate white, most likely. You can make yours any color you want. And then I'm going to make the shadow a little darker under the plate. I'm also going to make the table a different color than the wall and you should do the same. So you're going to watch me color on high speed and then you're going to work on yours and I hope you learn a little bit about coloring and color choices from watching me and remember to be neat, stay in the lines, don't speed, try to color the same direction and I can't wait to see these.
Okay, now it's time for the background, the wall. Please have fun with it. Pick any color you want. I might do green or red or maybe purple. I'm not sure yet. But before you do that, please make sure that you have some kind of darker shade or shadow around the plate. You could take the color you used for the table. I used light blue and I, and I mix some light blue with a little bit of dark blue for the shadow. And I even put a little bit of gray in there. For the plate, I kept mine white. You can color your plate. I took a regular pencil and I added a little bit of a shadow underneath my slice of pie and I smudged it with my finger. I left my shadow a little messy. That's okay. It doesn't have to look perfect. I kind of like messier looking shadows. So please have fun with this. Make it look wild. All right, so you're going to watch me on high speed finish this and you're going to see what I do for the background wall. And here is my slice of pumpkin pie. I hope you enjoyed watching me create it. I had a ton of fun. I went a little wild with the color. In the background, I decided to blend some purple with a little bit of pink. I even added some red. I made this side of the page a little bit darker to create the illusion of light coming in from this way. And I decided to make my slice of pie realistic, like real pumpkin pie, using more like orange and brown colors. But I want you to have fun with it. I want you to use any materials you have. And I can't wait to see these. All right. See you next time. Bye.